internet and welcome to the channel Scuba Travel and Adventure here and another ride uh, The weather is very windy today but it has been a couple of weeks since I have been on a bike uh, We had a snow already and uh, so we had basically one day that uh, covered uh, the ground and then over the last few days it got warmer and everything melted so today we are November 4th and uh, I'm riding again which is awesome I'm happy and uh, I decided to go not far uh, just for a short little ride uh, to Sheep River Falls Hopefully the road is not closed yet because uh, that road has a winter closure. I've never been there before myself, so something new to the uh, close to the city, or fairly close to the city, about an uh, hour and a bit of a drive. And uh, so I gotta take the advantage of the beautiful, nice weather. Uh, right now we're sitting at uh, 15 degrees, but it's uh, super windy. I brought my drone out. But uh, I don't think that's, uh, that's going to be a go today to fly the drone because uh, the wind is quite strong. But we'll see, maybe stuff is, maybe it will change why once I get closer to the mountains. beautiful view here up ahead the mountains are super crispy clear maybe over the next hill uh, I'm vlogging with uh, Insta 361R uh, I, I started playing with this camera in my previous few videos still, still discovering all the features of this camera it's uh, I'm trying to make it a go-to camera right now I also released a video about it if you are interested, so check that out, uh, that was my previous video before that will come out. It's an awesome little camera and it's packing a lot of awesome features as well. So I was so pumped up with this uh, camera that I had to get a second one. <laughs> As, uh, as, you, as you, some of you maybe watched it, uh, uh, my uh, review of this thing. So I'm still keeping my GoPro. I think I'm still gonna be using it uh, mostly for scuba diving until I get the uh, underwater cases or cages for the Insta361R. And today the audio is recorded also on uh, Insta361R. So I'm hoping uh, that's gonna sound okay. I eliminated all these uh, microphone adapters from GoPro. Yay! As you see up ahead, the mountains are already covered with the snow. So there's not much left of riding. I'm gonna keep on riding to the end. But uh, mid-November, I'm gonna have to perform a major service on my bike. It's due for a valve check. So I already purchased the gaskets and uh, all the necessary stuff to perform the valve check. Uh, my buddy is gonna help me with that uh, as much as I uh, am uh, mechanically inclined. I can do a lot of things, but uh, that's something that uh, I don't really want to do myself. I don't want to mess it up uh, because I know uh, that can be pretty devastating at the end if I screwed up something. But my, my, my friend, uh, he is a professional mechanic, so I take everything apart and uh, he will do the actual wave adjustment for me. It shouldn't be too complicated, but uh, better leave it to the pros. I'm not sure if I'm gonna make a video on that. Maybe I will, maybe I will not. I will see. Probably would be a good idea to shoot a video on this, so many of you probably would benefit from this. As we get closer to the mountains, the snow is still there in the ditches and uh, in the shade. Yeah, 
you can see uh, the little patches here and there. I'm just getting into Turner Valley right now. Something happened to my TPMS sensors. I don't know, I think they just need a battery replacement. Unless they got soaked in the river last time when we were riding. Maybe the toast, hope not. Because they don't read out pressure, it's, uh, they're not detected by the GPS by the looks of it. Nothing as good as little town. People are chilling outside. They don't seem to be in a big rush like uh, people are in uh, Calgary. That's the beauty always of uh, living in a little town. Today we'll be heading west. People are ready for Christmas here. They have started putting Christmas decoration beginning of November. Well, a bit too crazy for me. sure if I'm gonna be able to get to the end of there. One, for one is that I'm not sure if the road is open, as I said earlier. And two, how far the falls are of the main drag. If it's a hike or it's the walking distance. There we go, entering Kalinowski's country. the pass is required here but uh, I think that's only when you go hiking or when you're stopping when you're driving through I think we should be okay here well, it's uh, snow and quite wet believe it or not so I just entered the uh, Ship River Provincial Park Very nice in here. Wow, seven years in Calgary, I've never been here. Interesting. Oh wow, some kind of animals up ahead, quite a few of them. Are those elk? I think that's all elk. Or not? No, they're mountain goats. Looks like the males hang out separately from the females.
how the scores are big. Come on, run, boys! Run, 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 run! Yeah, you're cool. when you ride the bike. <laughs> Always run into something new. So I made a quick pit stop here at Ship River Falls. I can't explore too much, I wish, because I should have grabbed a park pass, otherwise I'm going to get in trouble. So let's get the hell out of here before I get pulled over by the ranger. Next time.
this park in Kananaskis country straddles the Rockies to the west, the foothills to the east. Many different species of mammals and birds call the area home, but especially the bighorn sheep who live here year round. There are plenty of outdoor adventures to be heard to Sheep River Provincial Park, including hiking, the wide variety of trails, horseback riding, fishing, and camping at the park's two large campgrounds. In the wintertime, the park is cross-country skier delight thanks to 37 kilometers of groomed trails. The Ship River Provincial Park lies in the southwestern region of Alberta in Canada, just outside of the city of Calgary. The park spans 23 square miles and lies within the Blue Rock Wildland. Other parks near it include Elbow Sheep Wildland Provincial Park, Don Gary Wildland Provincial Park, and Banff National Park. Ship River Provincial Park sits along the eastern edge of the Rocky Mountains before plateaus of Alberta begin. Inside the small park lies the Ship River Wildlife Sanctuary. Here at the sanctuary lies a permanent home of protection of bighorn sheep. There are eight named mountains in Ship River Provincial Park. Indian Oils Hill is the highest point at 6,503 feet, that's 1,982 meters. The most prominent mountain is Missing Link Mountain with 935 feet, 285 meters of prominence. The landscape of the park is slightly less rugged than the parks which surround it. Because the Ship River Provincial Park sits at the foothills of Rocky Mountains, it is full of viewpoints of the rugged mountains with forest rolling hills and vast basins. Hikes that lead up to some of the higher points in the park offer contrasting views of surrounding landscape with Rockies to the west and Calgary spanning out to the east. The park's close proximity to Calgary makes it easily accessible for a vast number of people. The Ship River, for which the park is named after, begins in the Elbow Sheep Wildland Provincial Park before, before passing through the Ship River Provincial Park. Beside the bighorn sheep that call the region home, the park is also home to elk, grizzly bear, black bear, caribou, gray wolf, bighorn sheep, mountain goats, and deer. While all of these animals inhabit the surrounding mountains, it's most likely that hikers will see elk and deer along the eastern section of the park. The waters of the park are home to various types of trout, dace, whitefish, and spoonhead sculpin, all found within the Ship River.